I know that this is a tough time for many of you. Maybe you're out of work and it's no fault of your own. Everything was going along as normal and all of a sudden everything has changed. Or maybe you are working and you're wanting a better employment, perhaps a new career or increase in finances. Well, listen to what it says in 1 Corinthians 12, verse 11. All these are inspired. Now, all these means you and all of us are inspired by the one and the same Spirit, that's God, who apportions to each one individually as he wills. And God's will for you is a lot better than your will for you. God will always outdo your desire for good if only God can get through. Well, one of the great ways to have increased continuous prosperity in our lives is listen to God and God's divine ideas. Often we have the divine ideas come through us, but we don't understand them because it's a wisdom from above. It's so much higher than we can even comprehend in the moment. It might be a new career direction, doing something completely different than you ever thought that you would. I'm a prime example of that in this ministry. Uh, this is so different from anything that I did before. We've often heard the maxim, keep an open mind. However, I'm going to ask you to affirm something else, that the door of your mind is open right now to divine inspiration. Divine ideas can be revealed to you in unexpected places or times. And knowing this, you remain open and receptive at all times. And you can have a divine idea come to you and it will be an open door to a new possibility that you never thought of yourself, never dreamed of or hoped for. And what you have to do is you have to, instead of push off the divine idea, Instead of reject the divine idea, you accept the divine idea as a new thought on your own prosperity and your way forward. And it means that you're willing to give that idea life. See, we either, we either kill the idea or we give it life. If we receive an inspiring idea about prosperity, about our employment, about our finances. It is up to us to put the idea into action. That is the way we co-create with God. We all have free will. We don't have to accept the divine idea but I pray that you do because when you do you'll find it is the best and the blessed path for you. Divine ideas, they naturally lead to actions that are positive experiences for you and for all concerned. You implement the spiritual inspiration you receive on prosperity. So you and others will be richly blessed.